fishing submerged grass beds with the boys. You guys ready to catch some fish? Yeah! Alright, let's go do it. So we're using a couple different lures that are very good at coming through the, uh, the emerging grass. Cooper's got a, a swim bait rigged on a dragon head there. And Sawyer, what do you throw on Sawyer? A spinner bait. He's got a spinner bait. So both of these lures are, uh, are low hassle. So I'm going to set us up in front of a, uh, or at least to the side of a, a grass bed, which they're not really up yet. If you look around, you really can't see any of the green coming up, but they're down there. And you got to read the surface of the water to find these spots. You going? All right, Daddy's got the first one. Nice big smallmouth. All right, Sawyer, why don't you net, grab that net? Cause this is a big fish. All right, come right here. You know what? I think I can get it. I can get it. I got it. I got it when I need it. And we're gonna show you where this big smallmouth that took a lot of drag where it was sitting. All right. He's going oh, under he's the going boat. He's going under the boat. He's pulling your rod down in there. Yeah, he is. Look how big that fish is, guys. He looks like he's almost 20 inches. You think he is? Mm-hmm. He did. I, don't think he, I think he's close, but I don't think he's quite there. Maybe 18. All right. He didn't appear big even. Oh, he was big. Can Just I a hold fat the one. Fish? Real fat fish. Can I hold the fish? You want to hold this fish? Mm -hmm. All right, we got him on a brown fluke. That's actually a Mama Chog five inch what's it on a quarter ounce dragon head. And Coop, I want you to point to the tail end of this, this scrub island where that, that tree's sticking up. Yeah, right where, where Sawyer just cast. So he was right at the back of that. And really anywhere there's a good current break, we're, break, we're gonna find good fish like this. These are the obvious spots. We're gonna find the less obvious spots here in a minute that are the grass beds that you really got to read the surface to to catch fish behind them so let's get a quick pick and put this sucker back go 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 what you got buddy net net all right swing it here swing it here bring it in oh all right pump it up swing the rod tip directly upstream get it Further, closer to me, over my head, over my head. All right. Yay! We got it in. All right. Uh. Got it. I'm amazed. I'm going to take an estimate guess about 19. 19. All right. We'll see. He swallowed that bait. I don't think he's 19, but look how fat he is. Yeah, and it looks like he even has like some bird's marks. He's maybe a girl be well bleh. she is probably a girl because um if she's fat and it kind of looks like she might have eggs. Yeah. Take it out. Take the hook out and we'll get her back in so she can do something with those eggs. Push it down hard. Alright. She he she's love fish. See she has like a black spot that looks like a heart on the other side. See? Yeah, she like would the... love to go back and, and make <laughs> more fishies. Yeah. Let's let her go. Okay. Grab her. You got her? Mm-hmm. Right, put her in. <gasps> He's heavy. Good job, Cooper. Sawyer, why don't you net for your brother? Okay. Uh, he feels like he weighs a ton. A ton is 2,000 pounds, let me remind you that. I know. Open your bail. Okay. Good job, guys. Yay. Nice teamwork. Mm -hmm. What we're looking at is a fat there's a, a grass bed up here with some nervous water. And then as you move down here, there's a little bit of a current seam. And they're just on this side of the current seam in this deeper water. How big is he, man? Um, a million feet. A million feet, huh? That's what he felt six, like. 16 nice catch, inches. Cooper, do you want to let him go? Sure. 
Flip him and let him go. Hold him up for me. Try to hold your fingers down. The fish felt like it weighed a million pounds. Right, I'm going to show you how to do it nice next time. Just okay. You leave his mouth right into it, okay? You just like Good gently catch, please. All right, this ought to give you a little bit of insight in terms of what what these grass beds are and how you're going to identify them and what part of the structure you're going to fish. Uh, here immediately in front of us, it's all about, I don't know, less than a foot deep. And I've got the boys fishing the area immediately below it. So let's walk down here and you can see where it transitions from pretty shallow right here and then it gets deep right below. Let's take a look. So those deep areas immediately on the, the downstream drop off on the back side of these grass beds, that's where we're going to be targeting. We also have a couple scrub islands over here. We're going to work on the back sides of those. All right, Coop, watch your rod tip. Watch it. Watch it. All right, Coop, why don't you grab the net? Oh, that's a big one. Sora switched over to the, the swim bait. I, did. I thought that was Cooper. Oh, you, oh, I guess you still have the fluke on. I thought you had a swim bait. Yeah, it's a swim bait. Oh. Cooper, try to get it in. What I was doing was um like at the particular cast I was at, it was like one, two, three, four, five. I let it go to the bottom and then reel in for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then one, two, three, four, five again and again until so I. So you were reeling it in and then pausing and letting yeah. it get to the bottom and then reeling it in hey. and pausing. All right, they come right up. All yeah. Right. Nice catch, buddy. This 17 and a half inch um, hit, hit a swim bait um, just below the gr a grass bed. Hey, you Yay! Sawyer's doing here that he's figured out is in the current. We do have some current sweeping down through here and if the, there's a constant cast and retrieve the swim bait elevates in the water column, stays up near the surface where he wasn't getting any bites. Um, he, he's figured out, and I think from watching me fishing stuff on the bottom, that most of the bites are coming from the bottom on the current seam off of this grass bed and letting it sit and, and letting it drop for five seconds or five count and then reeling for five count honestly it just keeps that that tension on the line so that when a fish grabs it he can feel it i think that's really what's going on it's getting near the bottom and keeping his line taut so he can feel the bite when he grabs it we'll have to watch him to see if they're if they're biting it as it's sat on the bottom or on it the way back up from the bottom but he's definitely got a technique down pat Moving on to a different spot, and I always choose the, the moment where there's not a lot of wind to move because once the wind blows, you can't really read the surface of the water to tell where these grass beds are. Let's look across this pool here. I mean, obviously, we have that scrub island, but looking down, you want to look and see. I see two grass beds a good bit down from this, this scrub island, but we're going to start with the scrub island, the obvious spot and read the surface of the water while the wind's not blowing. I see two grass beds right below it, so we'll set up a drift. You guys see some grass beds coming up? I'm looking. There's some grass beds. 
Yeah. Where are they? Right there, see? Oh, there's one. Right underneath the surface. I, right here. It looks like there's one over there near that island. Yeah. There's one near the scrub island. There's one here. Here's we got one, one here. We're on the edge of it. Right here. Oh, we're on it. All right, we better throw the anchor soon. Okay. Congratulations! Yeah. Oh, that was a nice one. You're that gonna have to get down there with him, Sawyer. Daddy! Watch the rod tip. You should try to bring him closer. Okay. Is that wow, our biggest one big. yet? He's Coop? Big. He's 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 the heaviest one. I I'm close today. Adam, Adam, you gotta reach. Lift. You gotta reach with that, Sawyer. It's the biggest fish yet I've ever seen. Oh no, I can't. It could be a sheep. It's a highly. Oh, that's a big one, Koo. <laughs> yes. I think it's My the biggest fish. fish today. Nice. We're gonna check them. I, I have 18 and a half. A small mouse bass, and I caught it on a swim bait. Good job, guys. So it's not just the uh, the downstream end of the grass beds. We're actually hopping out onto one. And we're casting, you can see it, it tapers off going down from here on the upstream side because there's a series of comes up where there's a grass bed and then it goes down and then it comes up. Right where it comes up is a good spot. We're sitting right on top of one of those. You got one, don't you? I had one. You had it. I saw your rod bending. That was a good cast. Hey, leave it, leave it, leave it. Let it get down. Good job, Daddy. Oh, it's not me, it's your brother. Well, good job, Sawyer. There's a hat in it. Cooper's hat is in it. What? In the... See it, look at the net. Oh. Yeah. Yes! Good job, Sawyer. Thank you. Springtime. It's springtime. Grass beds. Time. Swim baits. Good job, dude. It's springtime and we're having fun. Here, let him go. Um, where can I put my rod? I'll take it. Lower, lower into the water. This is the good way to do it. Mouth open. There you go. All right, I think we're done for the day, guys. How'd we catch the fish? Um, what I was doing was like. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Like I would let it sink for ten seconds and then reel it in for five seconds. And that's what I thought Cooper began to do at the end. Coop, what did you get yours on? I I caught mine on. I think it was a swim bait, and uh, I was cast it way out, and I retrieved it again and again. And what are these fish holding on? What are they? What are they near? Um, they're near. Like they're gonna have birth soon. Glass yeah, beds. Glass beds where they're gonna spawn here in, in two weeks or so. so. Mm -hmm. The river, I believe, is closed on May 1st all the way to June 15th for their spawning season. That is correct. Good job, guys. Yay! So there it is. A little lure that uh, caught most of our fish today. Little uh, hand poured. Something I made myself, little swim bait. You can buy these wherever. Uh, dragon heads, you can buy those at confidencebaits.net. Here's the pattern. Uh, basically, we would identify these, these grass beds, these emerging, submerged, you know, come summer, they're, they're way up out of the water. But right now, you get the root structures that makes a little bit of a mound, and then there's a calm area below it. 
when you read the surface of the water, you read that nervous sort of look and know to position so that you can you can fish the eddy. And um, basically what you've got is this top third. I like to break the eddies into thirds. The top thirds, that's where they actually spawn. You know, they're, they're gonna put their beds up, up tight to these grass beds when they do spawn. Uh, so once once you're into spawning period, if you want to leave them alone, don't fish the top third. Um, they will go to these the top third when the water comes up. You know this is going to be somewhere they can tuck in. They have that high water refuge, and that's exactly why they build their beds there so that the eggs don't get washed down. In a more medium flow like we had today, we didn't have high flow, we didn't have low flow. They're going to be near the the middle part of this. Uh, the eddy, you know, dead center, not top, but right in the center, and uh, usually near near the eddy seam. If it gets particularly low in your river, even in the spring, more typically it's <clears throat> you see it in the summer. Uh, they'll go to the lower third of an eddy, you know, between one grass bed and the next, and that lower third um, is a low flow habitat area. Let me show you a top down view of the same. Same kind of setup. <clears throat> Again, once they start spawning, there's your spawn zone. Leave it alone. So, if you do catch one from the top here, you know it could be a spawner. Get them back quick if if uh, if you're going to do that. Get them back quick. Uh, if you prefer to leave them alone and, and let them do their thing, don't fish the top half of these these grass bed eddies. Fish the middle, <clears throat> the middle third, especially when you have medium flow or the, the bottom half, certainly when it gets low. And if it gets real low, like in the summer, the taper up as it, as it moves from one grass bed to the, to the next, here's your deeper area. As it, as it starts getting shallow again, comes up right there, that's a sweet spot for sure. So, boys, uh, we're able to, to figure it out today with the, uh, with the swim baits. I use these. Um, I will also use hard jerk baits. I wasn't going to use it today. Didn't feel like chasing down a bunch of a uh, bunch of treble hook uh, snagged um, snagged you know baits, in, suspending jerk baits in these uh, these grass beds because <clears throat> these grass beds are, are sort of like one half of Velcro and uh, jerk baits are the other half. So throw something that you're going to be able to throw in there and it's not going to snag up. You're not fishing the grass beds itself, the the eddy below it. And reading the surface is, is really going to help you key in on, uh, on your, your sweet spots. Today, for the most part, it was medium flow. They were in the middle of the eddy and they were along the current seam on either side.